back at you with another video today. So this isn't really a tutorial because I feel like I'm really bad at making tutorials and just explaining things in general. So this is more a video of me making a pleated skirt and telling you all what I did along the way. So if any of you are interested in making a pleated skirt, hopefully this helps in some way. And if not, then hopefully this is just kind of interesting to watch. So when making a pleated skirt, I always start with the waistband. I wanted my waistband to be about 32 inches long and about 2 inches wide. So I cut out 34 inches leaving 2 extra inches for seam allowance and 5 inches wide because I'll be folding it in half and once again leaving room for seam allowance. Now I'm cutting the actual skirt itself. This really depends on how long you want it. I made mine about 18 inches long since it was going to be for a schoolgirl uniform skirt. And since my pleats were going to be about an inch wide, I made the length of the fabric I was cutting three times the length of my waistband. So my waistband was 34 inches long as I mentioned previously. That means I would be cutting 102 inches in total. I didn't have enough fabric for this, so I had to cut it in two parts and sew it together. But it still works as long as you hide the seam in the pleats. This next part is pretty self-explanatory. I knew that I wanted my pleats to be two inches wide, so I just went along the entire length of my fabric with my measuring tape and marked down two inch um, intervals between each other. Um, this is a little bit time consuming and tedious, but I've tried eyeballing the width of my pleats in the past, and trust me when I say that it looks much, much neater when you actually take the time to measure them out. <laughs> This is where marking down where you want your pleats to be comes in really handy. So basically now all I did was fold over the fabric to meet which each little green point as you see here in the video and then pinning the pleats into place. You can pin them on both ends of the skirt um, but it's completely up to you. Once I'd sewn the pleats um, into place at the top of my skirt, I went ahead and ironed the pleats flat with spray-on spray starch, which you don't have to have spray-on starch, but I highly, highly recommend it. It makes the pleats really crisp and it really holds them in place. I totally forgot to mention this before, but it's not a huge thing, is um, before I pleated my skirt, I did hem the bottom of the skirt as you can see in this video here. So I basically just double folded the um, raw edges of it and um, sewed it together. So yeah. So here I am with uh, the waistband that I cut earlier. Now that my skirt is pleated and hemmed, I am now going to start attaching the waistband. So with the uh, bad side of the skirt facing upwards, I am pinning down my waistband um, like so in this video. And it may look a little bit odd at first, but you'll understand um, that I'm doing this for a reason because I'm going to flip it up so that the raw edges are hidden and do the same on the other side. And now that the skirt is pleated, it matches up with my waistband length perfectly. Mm -hmm. 
The reason why I pinned it as showed in the previous clip is because I then sew it to the top of the skirt and then flip the waistband up, folding it in half so that it encases and covers the raw edges. See now how I'm tucking the raw edge of the waistband underneath and pinning it in place as I go. Once I've done this to the entire waistband, I sew a top stitch near the bottom to hold it into place. Um, you guys saw me attaching the uh, band waistband here to the top of the skirt and I've attached it both sides now so it's fully um, fully attached with some top stitching just along the top here and I did leave a little bit of an extra like flappy bit here um, at the end just because I'm going to include a snap here so that it'll kind of close nicely shut like that um, yeah, that was the plan. It still needs a bit of ironing, but that's not too much of a big deal. So basically the final step is I just have to attach the zipper. So I went ahead to my local fabric store and I bought a zipper in the closest color I could find. This one is 23 centimeters. So I have already sewn together the skirt, leaving a little bit of room for the zipper, but it is a little bit, um, the zipper is bigger than what I thought, so I'm just gonna go ahead and like rip the seams a little bit here so I can fully attach the zipper and include it, which isn't that big of a deal because I can just sew it up later. So yeah. So I didn't include a clip of me attaching or sewing in the zipper just because I do find it's a little finicky and I really need to focus and it's kind of hard to film that kind of up close thing. And in a way, there's millions and millions of videos on YouTube on how to sew in zippers. So if you're interested, just a quick YouTube search. And now I'm just sewing in my little snaps. I've recently become really obsessed with just using snaps. They're so easy to sew in. They're like little buttons and they're just so handy. I always find myself like having snaps on hand now. And now my skirt is finally done. I'm giving it one last iron um, with some spray on starch. You can never iron a pleated skirt enough. And now I'm just hanging it up in my closet to let the pleat set and let it cool down. Alrighty, and you are now done your pleated skirt. So the zipper and the snaps are in. As you can see here on the back. And it needs a little bit more ironing, but it's not the end of the world. With pleated skirts, I do find that you do need to continually iron them from time to time because no pleats are forever, <laughs> unfortunately. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll, it's not for me actually, it's for my friend. So I will try it on just to show you guys what it kind of looks like, but um, I don't think it'll fit exactly right. <laughs> 
Please ignore my messy bathroom, but here is the skirt. Um, it's too small for it to sit um, near my hips, so it is sitting at the small of my waist right now, near my belly button. So yeah, here it is all done. I am quite pleased with how it turned out. I think I've made a few of these pleated skirts now, and this is probably the best one I've done so far. So rest assured, people watching this video. <laughs> anyway, this isn't exactly a tutorial because I'm not, again, a professional. This is just all self-taught. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to leave them down in the description box below. And if you want me to make anything else that you think would be helpful for you or something along those lines, let me know. I'm all open for suggestions as long as it's not too expensive because I'm a broke college kid. <laughs> anyway, bye guys. Thank you. Bleh.